Hello and welcome to Ready Set Indie Games. I am Ready Set and I hope you all are having a fantastic evening this evening. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Ready Set and on my channel I try to make stream indie games much like the one you see here. At least 98% of the time. I typically stream Thursday through Saturday evening here on Twitch. So if you like any games or have an interest in it, then you have to come to the right place because I play all types of indie games. Again, at least 98% of the time. <laughs> um, so tonight we're going to be on Free Fire Red Ocean here. And last last week we were going into the Silver Mine, which we were warned not to go into, but that's where we're going. And that is where we last of a stream I'm going to do because I am experiencing some pain but I am going to try to stream for a decent amount of time um, but we'll see I may only do I might only do about an hour so but we'll see because like I said I'm having some pain so, um, let's go ahead But while I'm doing that, let's talk about what we are going to be playing. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing um, for the rest of the week. So tomorrow we have four games that we're going to be playing. We are going to be playing. We are going to be playing uh, Vampire Survivor, Fail Barrier, Cryo the Fusion. Saturday we're going to try to finish up Pumpkin Dad because we're um, about close to being done with Pumpkin Dad so we're going to try to finish up Pumpkin Dad on Saturday. So that's what's on the So let's go ahead and bring that to me. But of course if you are always use exclamation point G-O-T-W and that will break up a list of all of the games that I am playing for this week. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and continue. supposed to be headed towards the mines. <laughs> Looks like they're closed up. <laughs> oh man, the ladders are a mess. No way we'll get up there. Yeah, Ty definitely has it. Ty definitely has had its way with this. Any other way to the mine? Not that I know of. So we're faced with a dead end once again. Well, guess there's nothing more to do but to backtrack and think of another way. Thank <laughs> you. 
wonder if we go talk to old girl. Well, she needs to stay away from the mines, though. End of our story of Aranta. Hello, Aladdin. Welcome to the stream. Ow. You okay? That was quite the fall. Yeah, I think so. Where are we? We're in an underground cave. We tumbled all the way through the forest cover. But luckily so, since it broke your fall. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. This cave is filled with powerful rumors. Say, do you have your grandmother's ring with you? Um, yeah. After what we went through to get it, I'm not taking it off my finger for one second. Can I see it? Is this really the right time for this? What about the roamers? Just humor me for a second. Hold, hold out the head hand. Hmm, okay. My ring like this. Just like that. Now, snap your fingers. Um, okay. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Ar Arco? Where did you... I'm here. Just like I suspected. That ring is a conduit. Huh? Like my sword? Spirit sword! Yes, just like your sword. Your spirit sword. Only much more powerful. Conduits are usually objects that have some history to them. And given how old your family ring is, it has seen quite a bit of life and death throughout the years. It bears a deep connection to both realms. Okay. And that's why the realm was founded so interesting before. They use conduits for their personal gain. Tap into the life energy of the human world. So that's what it was last night in the woods. I've never come across a conduit like this before. I can physically manifest through it. Only for a little while, but still, it feels strange. But now we have a new weapon against our enemies. Let's call it the Spirit Shield. What do you think? Spirit Sword, Spirit Shield, love it. Oh, fine by me, I guess. Just snap your fingers to give me a sign to act. And keep in mind that I can only manifest through the ring for a short period of time. Doing so will also drain my energy fast. When I run out, give me some time to gather it anew. Okay, now let's find a way out of this hole. Right. You learn to use the spirit shield. Press B to block incoming attacks. You can also hold down B to form a more lasting barrier around Aretta. The spirit shield can be utilized in other situations too, but you have to find out about them by yourself. Just keep your eye on the spirit energy meter. When it runs out, it will replenish automatically in time.
boss fight off the bat? brings up a list of all the games that I'm playing this week, the price of those games, the platforms for those games. platforms the games are available on the price if there is a price it gives you the link so that you can wish list or and or purchase the games so it is, it's a lot of fun um i was um given this was given to me by the devs so shout out to the devs for providing this to me and I just kind of fell in love with it, so that's why I've been playing it <laughs> every week now. Because I fell in love with it. So nothing this way. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I need to pick up Fire Planet too. And I probably will probably pick it up next month. And if not next month, then during the uh, winter sale for Steam. And then tonight's discussion question, if you so choose to answer, is what is your favorite Halloween tree? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Because there's four different... <clears throat> sorry. There's four different characters in that one. I know it's Mila, Carol, Lilac, and then... I forget what, her, uh, what the other chick's name is. Nira. Okay. Yeah, I played the demo back in the day. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, because um, I saw you that you were playing Mila's uh, playthrough. Yeah, I figured something was going on with your net too, huh? Because um, I was watching and it kept like going off on mobile. So I was like, okay, maybe it's something wrong with the net. Hey, what's that? Looks like an old skeleton to me. Well, yeah, that too. But that's not what I meant. Is it a false door? I think I see a hatchway up there. That could be our way out. But how do we reach it? So that's your game of the year choice? Man, there were so many good games this year. I have to actually sit down and think. Because for the end of the year, I usually, um, for the end of the year, I usually do, like, a top 10 list of the games. I might do a top 12 and pick one from each of the months this year, but I have to sit down and go through the list of games I played this year. Yeah, it should do something. <laughs> Try to find your way up here first. Can't you just, oh, right, never mind. Non physical and all that. Mm-hmm. 
Arcade Paradise was a really good one, too. I like Arcade Paradise. Other front here. I had heard of of Sonic Frontiers, but I haven't seen much about it. Like, yeah, whatever. Um, hello. You can see me? Yep. Oh, that's... 
that's just great. <laughs> a girl and her flying weasel. A flying what? Hold on. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm a Reva, and this is Arco. We actually have been trying to find our way out of this cave. Could you point us to the nearest exit, mister? Um. Oh. You're already getting on my nerves. The name's Gib. Not that it matters. And you're not getting through that door. That's for sure. I barricaded it shut some time ago. A shadowy figure chased me through the woods. Don't know what freaking hole it crawled out from all of a sudden. A shadowy figure? A roamer, maybe? I don't know what it was, and I don't care either. All I know is that I won't leave this cave, as long as it's out there. And you won't either. That dang thing comes after you like wildfire. It's making me so mad. I'm way behind on my schedule. This spring is already over. Your schedule on doing what? Birdhouses! Are you blind or stupid or what? Well, dang, Gib. Look around you. It's nesting season. Uh, oh, I see. So you're the one behind all those birdhouses around the island. Well, what do you do? <laughs> it looks like we have a winner here. Oh, give you a rude. Just. Why? Uh, if you must know. I used to live in the big city working as a carpenter. But I never got along with anyone. <laughs> you think? People annoyed me. The sounds of the city annoyed me. It all just annoyed me. So one day, I just left everything behind and moved to this sorry island to pursue my true passion. Which is... Oh, let me guess. Making birdhouses. No! Being alone. All alone. And glorious, glorious solitude. <laughs> And to make birdhouses. <laughs> Gotta keep yourself busy, you know? Being in a hurry can really mess with your head. Everything was going smoothly for years and years. Until I kicked the bucket. Yeah, I figured it out eventually. And it kind of works for me, being invisible to everyone and all. But then that thing started showing up, and I've been locked in here ever since. You know, we could help you out. That's a roamer you're dealing with. And we're sort of in the roamer hunting business. <laughs> you scrawny little girl. Don't make me laugh. Hey, I may be young, but there's more to me than what meets the eye. Transform us. I second that. <laughs> Have it your way, then. It's gonna be your funeral after all. And it's a win-win for me to get rid of you in any case. Wait just a minute. There's something we want in return. <sighs> You're seriously getting on my nerves, girl. Well, you want to keep working on those birdhouses, or would you rather spend the whole of eternity in this one room? Or fine, then. Let's hear it. Since you seem so capable of working with wood, we are trying to reach the silver mine in the upper part of the island. But the ladders leading there are broken. Could you make a new one? <laughs> in a heartbeat. Then we have a deal. Let me get that door open for you. <laughs> if 
if you're not back before sundown, I'll close it back up and that'll be that. <laughs> Private property, no trespassing. It's okay, huh? That's fine. I didn't plan on streaming too long anyway tonight. We're only going for about maybe an hour at most. How about a short breather? Why not? No sign of any shadowy figure. Just your run of the mill roamers. There's one thing that is bothering me. What's that? Well, if Gibbs is a spirit, how can he fix that ladder for us? I thought spirits weren't able to interact with the human world anymore. And you're right about that. Like I told you before, the spirit realm exists in parallel to the human world. And therefore, Gibb is only able to fix the ladder that exists in the spirit realm. But that's not a problem for us, since you're bound now. Oh, right. But it's probably better not to tell Gibb about this. As he's really keen on making those bird how What was that? What was what? That! <laughs> I think we found our target. Or rather, it found us. Hurry, get ready.
We know how to fight it, so... That's our part of the deal done. Let's get back to Gib. Right. He's taking care of your problem. <clears throat> I don't see any proof. How do I know you aren't just pulling my leg? Wait a minute, you're, you on gray? We give you our word. It's safe to go out again. Although you might want to stay inside when it's dark outside. And you know, we could uh, help you move on from this place. 
I'm fine with the way things are. Don't worry about me. But you have my thanks. I don't believe that tiny redhead has it in her to lie. I'll have the letter fixed by tomorrow. You can get back to the main path by taking the southern route from my cabin. Oh, and take this. Use this rope ladder to climb down the cliff. It's the only way for you to get back to the path. Thanks, Skip. Oh, I completely forgot. When I tumbled into this cave, I uh, kind of brought the bridge down with me. Could you fix that as well? You... What? Uh, they should take the southern route. So. spot Gib was talking about. I heard one of the creatures. this way. Nope. We're going back this way. I better hurry back to the cabin. Don't want mom and dad to worry. that easily. Arkel, are you there? I'm here. I've been thinking about all of this. I want to keep going. I want to help people, like Grandma and Marvina. Even someone like Gib. It won't be an easy road. It will only get harder from here. I'll do my best. Arco? Yeah. So, there are others like me. I mean, like Bounds. Yes, all are around the world, but still, not enough. Will I ever meet them? Maybe someday. Maybe we should go to sleep. Don't want to be tired tomorrow if we're going to climb to that mine. Let's hope Gib has the bridge fixed as well. He seemed kind of mad about it. Actually going to stop stream kind of early tonight. 
Um, but that was Aretha, the spirits. Um, and if you like what you saw of the game, you can use exclamation point G-O-T-W. Um, and that will get you to the link for all the games I am playing this week. Hopefully I'm a little bit better tomorrow. Um, because I was having, I'm having some issues I'm in some pain, so... But overall, I still like the game and enjoy it a lot. And um, we will pick this back up next Thursday. So, yeah. Um, but let's switch over to our main screen. Because I like to thank every single one of you for coming to tonight's stream. Um, like I said, I would have gone longer if I wasn't in pain. But I'm in a lot of pain and I kind of just need to rest. Um, but with that being said, we are going to go ahead and raid my good friend, Moon Child, who I believe is still um, in Coral Island. If you want to participate in the raid, there is the command there. I'm just going to take a peek and see if she's still going. She's a family friendly streamer. And yes, yeah, she is still playing. Um, still playing Cora Island. And it looks like Where's with Friends? Or Where's for Stream? So, yeah, let's go ahead and raid her. And I will see you all tomorrow. With that being said, this is Ready Set Indie Games. I am Ready Set. Please be safe. Keep gaming and stick around for the raid. Thank you.